Hey, our friends, here we're going to be drawing a Christmas landscape. Yeah, we hope you're going to follow along. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use markers, but you can use whatever you have at home. You also need some paper and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. Let's first draw a frame around our paper. This will make it so we don't have to draw all the way to the edge of our paper. So I'm going to draw a straight line that matches the outside shape of our paper. I'm going to go around. And you could even make this smaller too. You wouldn't have to make it the same size. The smaller you make it, the easier it is to color in <laughs> at the yeah. end. I'm gonna trace around and then all the way across the top. You could also use a ruler too if you wanna make these lines super straight. It's fun practicing and drawing. Freehand. Yeah, straight lines, freehand. In the foreground, we're going to draw a row of trees, and then we're going to draw mountains in kind of the mid-ground mid -ground or, or background, and then the sky in the far ground or background. Let's draw an upside-down V right here in the middle of our frame, but towards the bottom. So things that are lower on the paper are closer to us. Things that are higher on the paper are further away. Now down here at the bottom of this upside down V. I'm going to draw a zigzag line to connect the bottom. There's the top of our first tree. Let's draw two more lines coming out further on each side. And then let's draw another zigzag line going all the way across. And you can change the zigzags so some of them are bigger and some are small. Vary the size. And then let's draw two more diagonal lines that will come down and connect to the frame. I think this also makes it look super 3D by overlapping the tree behind the frame. Almost yeah. looks like a window that we're looking through. Kind of does. Yeah. Okay, now let's draw another tree right next to this one. We're going to draw the same kind of upside down V or letter A. Draw it right there. We're going to repeat all of the same steps. So I'm going to draw a zigzag line to connect. And now this time, the left side diagonal line is going to connect to the tree. And it would go further, but we're going to stop right there so that it looks like it's going behind. And then let's draw a zigzag line like this over to the other side. So you can only see this part of the tree, this little corner is behind the first tree we drew. Now the next layer is completely behind this tree. So let's just draw this side connecting to the bottom or the frame. Cool. Let's repeat that same step over here on the left side. Now, if you want, you could make this one maybe a little shorter or taller. You could also draw this upside down V a little smaller. It doesn't have to be the same size. And then the zigzag line. And let's go a little quicker since we're repeating all of the same steps. There we go. There's the next row. And see this little corner right here is behind this front tree. That's called overlapping. Yeah. Makes it look super 3D. We did it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. I like that you have zigzag on that layer. That's really cool. Now that one looks different than this one. Let's add another tree right here. I'm going to draw it in between these two. And maybe this one's taller. We're not taller. Maybe it's further away, so it's higher on the paper. And we can draw the zigzag line to connect. Now this one's really behind all of the other trees, so we'll just draw a short diagonal line on each side. Let's do the same thing over here in between these two. And maybe this one connects to each of them. And I'm going to draw the zigzag line right there. Oh, we could also add for that next layer on that tree that's in the background, where behind these, you could draw it right in between. Now let's add two more trees, one on each side. I'm going to draw it right here. And then we can draw that zigzag line. There you go. And then let's add the next layer coming down. Maybe it goes out and connects to the frame and then the zigzag line. And maybe another zigzag line down here. Nice. Oh, I forgot. I still have a little gap right there. It'll connect. Let's add one more tree over here on this side. I'm going to draw it this and then we'll connect out here and then add that zigzag and maybe one more 
right there. We finished our foreground, now let's draw the mountains that are even further behind these trees. So we're going to draw it up higher. I'm going to start here, we'll draw a diagonal line coming up, and maybe right at the top it curves down, and all the way to the other side. Let's add another mountain right here, coming up and then back down. Oh, and we could also add a diagonal line over here. Maybe there's one more mount mountain that you can barely see. We could also draw snow on the top of this mountain. I'm going to draw big zigzag lines that go all the way over to the other side. We could add more snow on this mountain too. That looks really cool. Now let's draw a full moon. We're going to draw a circle over here on the left side. This is a really cool drawing. One of my new favorites. I like this one too. What's our night sky missing though? Santa Claus. Yes, yeah, Santa Claus. Man, we're going to draw a silhouette of Santa. So we're going to try to keep this super easy. And also, I'm going to zoom in on the camera so that it's easier for our art friends to follow along. Let's draw Santa's sleigh right here in front of the moon. I'm going to draw a rectangle shape and I'm kind of drawing it going up. Then we could draw a sack in the back. <laughs> we could draw an upside down U. That's all the toys. Then we could draw Santa right here. I'm going to draw a, a circle and it's just his head sticking out. And then we could draw his hat coming way back. So we draw a little spike on the end <laughs> and we could also draw a little pom pom. Pom pom. Yeah. <laughs> Let's color in all of these shapes. We're coloring it in so you can just see the outside shape or the silhouette of Santa's sleigh. Now let's draw the sled or the little, what are these called? Skis at the it's bottom. The skis. Yeah. And then we can connect it to a sleigh. So two little lines. It's just floating. Now we need to draw the reindeer. Let's draw a curve coming out this we're going to draw all the way kind of curving to the right side. How many reindeer does Santa have? Nine. Nine, yeah, including Rudolph. So we're only going to draw five reindeer. Four of the reindeer are side by side. So there's another reindeer behind this one. We're going to draw another oval. This is the reindeer body. So we've got one, two, and let's add two more. So there's four. So this is actually representing eight reindeer yeah. because they're side by side. And then the one at the very front is Rudolph, right? Yes. So he's by himself. Now let's draw their legs and their head so it doesn't look like beans. We're gonna, <laughs> <laughs> so we could draw a little oval floating above the big one and then we'll connect it down to the body. I'm gonna repeat that same step on all of the reindeer. So we'll draw a little oval and then the neck. Little oval and neck. And right here at the front, oval and neck. Now let's draw the antlers. We can draw a little curve coming back and then up and add an extra little antler. Let's do the same thing. We'll draw back and up on each of the heads and your heads. There we go. Now let's draw the legs and we can just draw four legs. I'm going to draw two in the back like this and then two in the front. And you can draw them curved too. So we can curve the back legs like this and the front legs the other way. And we'll add four legs to each of the reindeer. Jack, we did it. We finished drawing Santa and his sleigh. Well, the whole Christmas night sky. Yeah. It looks awesome, except we're not completely done. Still need to color it. Yeah, this part is my favorite. We are going to fast forward, but at the end, you can pause the video to match our same coloring. You ready to color? Yeah. We're using our biannual markers to color our drawings. If you have the same set, the green we're using right now is G515, or you might have a slightly... I think I have the same. Oh, same one. Cool. And... We are also adding snow patches to the trees, which I think even adds more detail. Yeah, a cool detail. 
We're gonna add the snow like this, we just kind of make a little shape and then color it in part of the tree, but leave the other part white. We also have a darker green. I'm gonna to switch to that one really quick. And the darker green is for the trees that are on the second row. So it's gonna add a little more three dimension or depth to our drawing because these are further back and behind the front row, they're darker. Cool. This darker green is G335. Now some of the other colors I forgot to mention, the mountains we used uh, this really dark purple, mm -hmm. R807. And then for the sky, we used B118. We also used a light blue B203 for the shadows on the snow and the mountains and also the highlight or the rays around the moon. And also I did uh, Rudolph's nose. <laughs> <laughs> We're not done with our drawings though. What do you think we're missing? Snowflakes. Yeah, let's add snowflakes. So we're already colored it in. So this part you don't have to do, but if you want to, it's a lot of fun. We have some acrylic paint and it doesn't matter what kind of paint really, but acrylic will show up on top of our drawings really well. We're using white and I also put a little red on here because you forgot Rudolph's nose. Yeah. <laughs> and we only have one paintbrush. We have this really, Fine paintbrush, we need to buy a few more. <laughs> I'm just, just gonna do little dots all over. Those kind of look like stars, but if we add those white dots in front of the mountains and also in front of the trees, it's gonna start looking like snow. Isn't that awesome? That's so cool. Let's fast forward again and we'll add snow to both of our drawings. And you can also add in Rudolph, the nose. Rudolph's nose. <laughs> We did it. We finished painting our snowflakes. It looks awesome. Yeah, it was a lot of fun painting the snowflakes. It also completes the drawing because that's why Santa needs Rudolph's nose yeah. to get through the snowstorm. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your Christmas landscape. I'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.